Are you thinking about getting your TPF hardware removed? If so, stick around and I'll tell you guys my story. All right, so welcome back. Let's go over a quick recap from my tibia plateau fracture story. Back in July 9th, 2013, I was playing basketball with a bunch of coworkers of mine and um, I went up for a rebound and another guy fell, uh, went up for a rebound too and he fell on my leg. My story is right up here if you guys wanna see my five year anniversary uh, video. You can go watch that right up here, okay? But today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my decision of taking my hardware out from my leg. Some of you guys are watching this video are probably searching on YouTube about uh, other people's experience with hardware removal. You know, is it right for you? Uh, should I take it out? Should I leave them in? Those were many questions that I had to ask myself. And obviously I had to ask my orthopedic doctor whether it would be a good idea to take out the hardware. So the question is why take out my hardware? Well, for one, it was just so uncomfortable. I was in a lot of pain and they say that the pain would go away, but it just wasn't going away for me. My leg was just so tight, I could barely bend my knee. And when I would drive my car, my skin would touch the uh, the driver's uh, door panel and the feeling, that sensation was just so weird uh, because I could feel the hardware and the skin and touching the door panel, it just felt so weird. I, I, it may be hard for you guys to understand, but it, to me, it just felt weird. Do you guys have that same feeling too? That feel, that sensation when your skin touches something, you can kind of feel like, anyway, it, it's just weird. And then my flexibility, I just wasn't able to bend it to the max. You know, I mean, it's, it's just, I couldn't bend it. And then when I did bend it, it was just a lot of pain. I was just in a lot of pain. And when I look at old videos of myself, uh, like the Grand Canyon video that I'm gonna put up here on the screen, my wife was recording me walking down when we uh, took a vacation to Grand Canyon. And I saw myself and I'm like, oh, man, I'm still limping. And that is one of the one thing that I wanted to get rid of was the limp. And um, my hip, my hip would hurt because you know I'm just overcompensating I just didn't feel level right so my hip would hurt because it was always shifting and that was one of the things that I didn't want to get was a hip surgery later in life uh, because you know of the pain so after so many research after so many asking questions on uh, the many Facebook groups out there I went ahead and said you know what let's get this hardware out I want the hardware out. I want to be normal again, right? I want to feel normal. I want to be able to run. I want to be able to jump. I want to be able to do squats. I want to be able to, you know, sit on my heel. And I couldn't do any of that stuff with the hardware, especially when I would run. I just felt when I would run and I have that hard impact, and it just felt weird. I felt like my bones were piercing or crushing. I, I don't know, it, it's a little hard to explain. It just didn't feel right. I took out my hardware on Jan January 30th, 2015. So six years ago today, exactly today. So let's talk about my experience that day. Well, my wife drove me, obviously. It's an outpatient type surgery. So my wife drove me. Uh, we got everything squared away with paperwork. I got ready, I got into the scrubs and they got me prepped up for the surgery. And I don't recall how many hours it took. I'd like to say maybe two hours, three hours. I don't really recall how many hours it really took to get the surgery, to get the hardware out. But I do remember waking up in a room and I was just shivering. Um, my vision was a little bit blurry still because I was asleep for quite some time. And um, my wife was to my right and you know we were talking for a little bit and the funny thing is i would i would ask her like the same question like three or four times i don't recall what that question was i was just so drugged up that night but she doesn't recall what question i was asking her either but uh, all i remember she said that i would ask her the same questions several times anyways after after waking up from the surgery and after waking up after 
all the medications left my body, you know, I'm, I'm fully awake now. I was able to stand up and get into the car. But here's the thing, I forgot to mention earlier in the video. Um, I was a little shocked and a little disappointed because I had to be on crutches. I had to be non-weight bearing for two weeks. And again, when I was researching on Facebook and other YouTube videos out there, people were getting their hardware removed. They would wake up after the surgery and they were able to walk out of the hospital on their own. That's just crazy, walking out of the hospital. I had to be on crutches, non-weight bearing for two weeks. And I was a little disappointed because I, I really wanted to walk again. I did not want to be on crutches again. I just didn't want the sound of crutches ever again. I mean, even to this day, the sound of crutches, you know, hitting the, the floor just kind of gets me still. I, I don't like it. What about you guys? Do you guys like the sound of crutches? Or do you even, when you see people on crutches, or do you get like PTSD or something? Because I know I do. I just don't like having to be on crutches. So two weeks after being on crutches, I got the staples removed. I don't remember how many staples that were on my leg, but I'll, I'll post the picture right up here. And I got the staples removed and I still had to be on crutches uh, for a couple more weeks, you know, just to get my leg strengthened up again. And um, after a few days, I was able to walk again, which I'm really excited for uh, because I just felt constrained with um, being on crutches. Oh, so when I got my screws taken out, I asked if I can keep them and they actually said yes. And um, I actually put my hardware in a shadow box. Have you guys done that too? Have you put your hardware, for those that have taken out the hardware, have you put it in the shadow box or you just left it in the plastic bag and just put it in, the, in, the, in your dresser or something? What have you guys done? But check this out. This is what I did. Again, this is just a reminder. But I thought it's just pretty cool because this was actually in my leg. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Total of eight, eight screws and a bracket. Look at that. So this was in my left leg for about a year and a half, I think. Like I said, I really wanted those things out of my leg, so. But please, keep in mind though, uh, Everybody's injury is different from each other. Uh, fortunately, my leg injury wasn't so bad where um, I would have to keep the uh, the hardware for the rest of my life. So I'm so glad for that. But just make sure you talk to your orthopedic doctor and just ask questions. You know, maybe because um, they, they they'll probably tell you that it's not a good idea to get your hardware removed because your injury was just so bad. Or they might say, you know what? It looks like your your legs healed up, your bones healed up. Yeah, you can definitely take out your hardware. So, um, talk to your orthopedic doctor. You know, again, if you don't believe them, maybe get a second opinion from another doctor. I don't know. But the cool thing that I can do after six years of getting my hardware taken out, I'm able to run. I'm able to jump. I'm able to do squats. I'm able to run on hard surfaces. I'm able to run on on treadmills. So. I'm just really, really glad that I made that decision of getting my hardware taken out because I just feel so much better. But don't get me wrong, it still kind of hurts now and then. You know, I can still feel like the stiffness in certain parts of my leg. Um, there's a small part on my leg where it's uh, it's numb. I, I can feel stuff. I can feel like if I'm touching my skin, I can kind of feel it. Do you guys have that same problem? Are part of your legs numb uh, because mine is but like i said the, the cool thing is i can actually sit on my heel now that is one of the things that a lot of us want to be able to do is to be able to bend our knee to the max right by sitting on our heel and i'll show you uh, videos of me sitting on my heel you see how close that is right now it's uh, pretty close right I, I know a few years ago i may have like two inches uh two inch gap from you know being being able to touch my heel now I can actually go all the way down touching my heel so that's a plus side to that with taking out my hard hardware all right so if you guys made it this far in this video please do me a favor subscribe to my channel like this video give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down 
whichever you know maybe if you do give me a thumbs down maybe you can comment down below too where I can actually improve with this video whether it's the quality whether it's the information just let me know because I'm new to this thing I love doing videos but you know I'm, I'm trying to master this craft of YouTube so if you can subscribe to my channel my goal is to get a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021 so please do that for me and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm going to keep track of my uh, healing journey. I know it's been uh, several years now since 2013, but it's still a long ways to go. I want to be able to, like I said, run a marathon one day. So thank you. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. So until next time, make sure you guys stay focused out there, stay motivated, stay positive. I know this injury can make us depressed but you have other support groups out there you have me so if you guys need to ask me a questions um comment down below get in touch with me and then we can talk all right so until next time see you later